It's hard to deny the allure of the city of Corvallis and especially Reeser Stadium on a Saturday in fall. The sea of orange in the stands mixed with the small town college intensity makes Oregon State a fitting place to relive old memories of game day and even provide second opportunities in life for fan favorites. Roybaugh gives this time a reverse to Rogers and a nice block by Roybaugh and Rogers at the 20 and out of bounds at about the 17 yard line. Lyle Mobile came to play. Between 2007 and 2009, Lyle Moybau provided Beaver Nation with memorable plays, memorable seasons, and also a contagious smile and attitude. But those unforgettable seasons in Corvallis began at El Camino College in his hometown of Torrance, California. I was actually recruited a, as a package deal with one of our junior college receivers. And he was his sophomore year in junior college and it was my freshman year. And so we went to, uh, this was back when NCAA allowed colleges to go to JC Combines. And so when we were out there throwing routes, you know, we, we, we caught the attention of a few coaching staff. And one of them just happened to be uh, Coach Burton, who was here as a quarterback's coach. And, uh, and then he passed the word on to Coach Riley, and, and then, uh, you know, it went from there. Upon his first eligible season in Corvallis, Moivau was immediately thrown into the quarterback competition with Sean Canfield. The two quarterbacks would share snaps, and although it was a competition for who would see more time on the turf, the relationship was far from a grudge. There was definitely no jealousy. I, I, I knew that, um, you know, one thing about that situation, I knew that I had to, to try to um, get him to understand that I wasn't jealous in any way. And I remember this as we were taking a drive to our quarterback coach's uh, house for dinner one night. I, I told him, you know, I'm not here to, to compete against you. I'm, I'm here to compete with you. You know, and, and, and I kind of, I think that just kind of settled that from then on. And that was our sophomore year. So um, I think he understood where I was coming from, that we were competing more for the benefit of the team to help each other um, become better so that we can help this team win. But the starting job would soon fall into Moivau's lap, and through the conclusion of the 07 and throughout the 2008 season, Lyle Moivau helped lead Oregon State to one of the most memorable seasons in program history. But even on top of the world, Moivau still saw the importance of being that influence to his teammates. Just being able to take advantage of the leadership role that that you know I was I was given at that time, um, and and and. To, to do everything that the coaches are telling me. Because as long as you do what the coaches are telling me, you know, I knew uh, you know, I, I wouldn't make very many mistakes. This stadium in general has brought, you know, so many uh, memories that, that'll never happen again for me in my lifetime. Being able to go back to back, competing for uh, the conference championship has always been uh, something I'll, I'll remember. But as soon as he soared, Moivau's career started an unfortunate free fall. Following the 2008 season, he underwent surgery to repair a rotator cuff in his throwing arm. Then, in October of 2009, a defensive lineman fell on Lyle's foot in practice, tearing ligaments. Moivau's college career was over. But even through the heartbreak, the leadership on the field and in the locker room still remained a number one priority for Lyle. Obviously, you might get thrown a few curveballs in life. You know, I took it as, you know, this this is just an opportunity that's, that's not meant to be. And so, um, if that's how it's going to be, I'm still going to be here for the team. You know, because I'm still part of the team, I still have a jersey, I still, my name's on the roster at that time. I didn't want to see my teammates look at me and say, oh man, you know, that poor guy, I feel sorry for him. So I knew that my team needed me, you know, to be up and normal and, and, and smiling and happy, just like I was when I was healthy. So um, I couldn't let them down and on my end of, of uh, having that emotional roller coaster. It shouldn't be any different than any other Saturday we go out there and play, you know what I'm saying? We treat every, every team the same, respect them all. Respect them all like we've been doing from the, from the very first game that we, we left the, that stadium, you know what I'm saying? We respect everybody, but we don't fear anybody. With the emotion and leadership he displayed, there was no question that while one career would soon end, another would blossom. Following playing stints overseas, Lyle Moivau returned to Corvallis and became a grad assistant. And now, under Gary Anderson's first year, an official part of the coaching staff where he shares his knowledge of something he and the current quarterbacks have in common, playing in a 2QB system. I understand how hard it is um, for them to see that side of it because I was in that situation. So um, to understand where they're coming from, where they're at, and the way they're handling it, I mean, you couldn't handle it any better than that. It's been 
something very special. I know if I didn't come in here um, as a player, my life would be a lot different um, than what it is today. It's been, it's been awesome to me, and, and, and I'm sure it'll be awesome for many more years to come. Morales in motion. Moivau, the pass from center. Lyle looks, looks, and throws toward the back of the end zone. Tip! Oh! 